Hello and welcome. We're going to solve this problem together, but first solve it on your own. Give it a shot. Alright, so they say when solving the equation x squared minus 8x minus 7 equals 0, by completing the square, which equation is a step in the process? So for me, it's hard for me to think about these choices, right, uh, just in a general way. So I'm going to actually complete the square and see what happens. So we have x squared minus 8x minus 7 equals 0. So my first step in completing the square is to add over the constant term. I don't have to do it first, but I do that to kind of prevent myself from making mistakes. I leave some space to complete the square, and I have x squared minus 8x equals 7. So to complete the square, I take the term next to the x, the coefficient, which is 8, and I divide it by 2 and I square it. So I have negative 8, I said 8, excuse me, negative 8 divided by 2 is negative 4. And then negative 4 squared is 16. So I'm going to add 16 to both sides. Right? And incidentally, we're always going to be adding positive amounts as long as we're dealing with real numbers here. Uh, that might be helpful. So 7 plus 16, of course, what's that? Well, that's 23. Right? And here, we can factor x squared minus 8x plus 16. It's a perfect square, so we can factor it to something squared. And that's x plus 4. Right? So it's going to be the square root of this term. So x plus 4 squared equals 23, and I notice, oh, there's that step right there, it's choice 2. So that's completing the square, uh, and you could have gone further, sometimes you might subtract the 23 back over, and you get something like this, x plus 4 squared minus 23, and that equals 0. So that, that might be something you see as well, and there we're just subtracting 23 from both sides. Alright, so hope this helps.